In this video, I'll be showing you how I set up for brim fishing, uh, lure fishing, and finally, how I set up for live bait fishing. What I'll do now is um, set up the most simple rig. It's, uh, it's a really, it's a brim, what I call a brim rig. Um, basically, attach the braided line. Put a braided line here. Attach that to the leader, we've got a 20 pound leader here, and then from the leader to the hook. Now on the leader there'll be a, a small sinker to just um, add a bit more weight to the um, I guess to the bait so you can cast it a bit further. Okay guys, um, I'll be showing you the, uh, the double uni knot. You can see, you can watch a lot of tutorials on uni knots on uh, YouTube. But I'll just go through this really quickly. Double uni knot, you've got the braided line here, the leader line. So essentially what you do is you line them up. We'll start doing the uni knot on the braid first. So once you line them up, get the braid, form a loop on the braid around your two fingers there. If you can see what I did. And you've got essentially a loop on the braid okay and then what you do is you take the braid over both uh, both the main the braid line and the leader line and then you put it through the, the loop do this about 10 times one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then what you do is you tighten that up. Usually, I would actually um, put a bit of saliva on there to to lubricate it, but um, for this purpose, I'll just pull it. You can lubricate it so it's it's lubricated, but also to reduce the friction and the heat created by the friction. Just keep on pulling it. To this zoom, but you keep on pulling it and it tightens so you can see. Tighten, and on the other side, you do the same thing. I turn around the other way. Um, so you got the uh, the braid and the, and the leader, get the leader line, do a loop on the leader line. Just like what we do with the braid, that, and you put it through just like we did before. One, two, I'll do less for this one, maybe about six, three, four, five, six. Tighten that now. Yeah, normally I would lube that for this purpose, but need to. Now you've got that means you've got what you have is two mono sorry two um uni knot hence it's called the double uni knot and what you do now is just tighten it up and they'll just go against each other and they'll tighten against each other and that's it and you've got a double uni knot you'll tighten that up i'll usually use my teeth and pull that but you've got really strong knot there I mean I've, I haven't had this fail on me um, the line would actually break before the actual uh, the uh, the knot so there you go double uni knot setup that was shown to me by my mate Anwar um, it's quite a simple one he's a uh, the brim whisperer if you've ever seen any of my videos guys a king of brims you can whisper to them um, so as what we did earlier, we connected the uh, the braid to the to the leader through the double double uni. I've just cut it so that um, the, the tag ends, and then the leader there. What we would do is put in a small sinker, depending on the condition. But the smaller sinker you use, the better. All right. Um, 
the lighter, the, 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 the more natural it looks when it floats down the bait, the better. You'll get a better take. Um, now what we do is the uh, we're connecting the leader to the hook and I simply do the uh, the union on again. It, I, it's, I use it for, every, for everything other than the, um, the lure fishing and the lure setup. So again, line them up, get the tag end, do a loop, and there you go, the loop, and then you would put that through the loop over the, the both the lines. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I would normally loop this, but I, I don't for this purpose. Pull that and slide it towards the, um, the hook. And yeah, you just simply, not really zooming in, just the focus. Pull that and that tightens. Okay, now the harder the fish pulls, the harder the knot gets. And that's it. You've got the hook, the, the leader with the with the sinker, running sinker. And then you've got the leader connected to the to the brake. That's it. What I'll show you now is um, my lure setup. Now my braid line is already connected to my leader. I won't show you how it's done. It's using an FG knot. Um, the best way to learn would be watching Briggs's video. He's got the um, very clear instruction on how to do that. I'll uh, include that in the, um, the details below. But what I'll show you is how I connect the leader to the lure. And it's as simple as a uni knot, like I showed you earlier. So put it through. Uh, as I explained in my last video, I only use about three knots. So line them up. Create a loop. Create a loop there. Now we'll just do three. One, two, three. This is so thick. And that's it. Tighten it up and we've got the lure set up. Some notable um, tackle. Obviously the trusted scissors. Um, this is a, um, a braid scissors. Specifically created for cutting braid. It's got grooves on it to make it easier to cut braid. Floaty. Show you what I use these for. Um, sliders, again, mainly for live bait fishing, and I'll show you this how I set it up. And a balloon, preferably a, a biodegradable balloon, um, seeing that it'll most likely pop and then you know, it'll just float there. Um, this is a, a floaty stopper and swivel, um, 45 kilo black magic heavy duty swivel. The lightly setup is quite a special setup. Um, there's quite a few things that you need to know to be able to do this. Uh, first thing is, I guess, hook. I'll use the, the uh, live bait hook. Um, you need a leader, a floaty, or a, uh, a slider, a balloon, and a floaty stop. For this purpose, I won't use the floaty, I'll show you how to use the balloon because it's a bit more complicated. Um, and I'll walk you through the process. Okay, first thing is get your uh, floaty stopper. I'll show you why this is really good. There's two, two pieces there, two small pieces for the floaty stopper. Slide that through your main line. Just set it for now, and then you can set the actual um, how how far uh, the depth later on. But anyway, so that's that's the stopper there. Then I uh, put my slider on onto the main line. Slider. Then I um, use a swivel. I almost forgot to mention. So the main line is 
attach the swivel using the uni knot. Again, simple uni knot, line them up, do a loop on the tag end. Do about five of these maybe in through the loop. So tag it into the loop. One, two, three, four, five. Button that. Make sure that's extra tight with the teeth. Cut the tag in. And then um, connect the leader onto the swivel also, on the other end of the swivel. Now this is 80, 80 pounds, so I'll do three, like I said earlier. Line them up, do uni knot again. As you can see, I uh, love my uni knot. One, two, three. Line that up, move it, and go, it's connected, determine how much leader you want, I usually go quite long with the leader, um, some of my mates know we've got a running joke, no, the longer the leader, you know what they say, the longer the leader, more the fish. Nice check. So yeah, make it about half, a meter and a half, maybe even more. That doesn't hurt. The leader will, uh, will, uh, will be more resistant rubbing against the rocks when you're trying to land the fish. At the end, just um, another guinea knot onto the hook. One, two, three. Button that up. using the wrong scissors for this. Anyway, cut the tag end. And there you go. So essentially what you've got is you've got the, uh, the stopper, you've got the running, um, what is this, slider, and it could be a floaty. Right? This, this, this is in, in the place of a floaty. You've got the swivel attached to the leader, and you've got the hook, the live bait hook. Now the balloon, I will blow up, tighten that up, and tie it up to the slider. And that becomes a really good floaty um, as you're fishing uh, the live. Uh, it, and eventually what happens if the fish does take it, it actually helps out because it slows the fish down. You can set the stopper as long as far as you want. The, the, the further up you go, the, the fish can actually swim a bit better. So that helps. But that's, that's my live bait setup, guys. Um, and it, it, usually think about it, if there's more wind, you can use the balloon. If there, sorry, if there's, if there's wind, you can use the balloon. If it's, no wind, you can use the floaty. That's it, that's my light base setup.